This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for joining. Do appreciate it. Hopefully you are well. We're uh, just filling up with fuel at the moment. We are on our way to Hyde Park, which we will get given some accreditations and then we'll head to Constitution Hill for Buckingham Palace. And we're carrying uh, toilets again. So uh, basically same as what we did for the Queen's Jubilee and the funeral. Uh, we've got two uh, block units, one disabled unit. That's a disabled one with the ramp. But yeah, we're just filling up for fuel, with fuel rather, and then we can crack on. Shout out to that guy, he just spotted me. So yeah, relatively easy day today. We've got to do two runs, uh, Swindon to London. I'm nearly done. So once we tip uh, in London just now, or later on, we head back to Swindon, get another load, um, and then go back to London again. Probably looking at like four-ish, maybe half four when we leave London later. So we are going to be in a bit of traffic. Nearly done. Maybe 300 litres, give or take, we need. Oh, I keep forgetting to say it as well, Devon Truck Show is coming up. Um, if you want to go to Devon Truck Show and see me or anyone else, or just even just go for a day out, use the code Road Legends to get 20% off. I've been meaning to say, but I keep forgetting. Road Legends, 20% off tickets. Even if you don't like me, <laughs> even if you don't like my content, if you want to go to Devon Truck Show, use the code Road Legends to get 20% off save some money for some extra beer, right? Right, 300 litres, let's go pay. Okay, all paid, back to the truck. Okay, so yes, we just got our fuel, so now we've got a full tank. We were down to a quarter of a tank. We're at, and it was kind of like borderline. I probably could have gone into London and back out, but I would have had to fill up on the way back out of London, so. Either way, I would have had to stop for fuel, so I thought, well, I'll just do it now, get it over and done with, and then we can just crack on then for the rest of the day. I definitely passed that car before I went into the services, so it must have put into the services as well. I remember the, the number plate looks a bit like Faye. Don't know why, but I remember. That's really weird. Sorry, you know when you get deja vu, when you, you just remember something? I, I definitely seen that car and trailer combination today before I poured into the services. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we are heading to London and we have to go to, well basically I've already been there before, it's like a um, holding area halfway down Constitution Hill. First time I ever went there this year, which was like last week, uh, straight there, no problems, didn't have to book in or anything like that, just straight there, done that a couple of times. And then yesterday I, I got told to go to Hyde Park, so I went to Hyde Park instead, which is down North Carriage Drive, you go in Victoria Gate. Um, I might try and put like an overlay on the screen so you can see it, like Google Earth. So you go through Victoria Gate and then you sort of drive down North Carriage Drive. Um, and that's where I went yesterday and I had to book in. Um, I got a bit of paper here to say that I, I can go down Constitution Hill. I had to wear a wrist tag as well, it was purple one, but I took it off because I don't like keeping things on. So. Yeah, I had a wrist, wrist tag as well that I had to wear. So yeah, off to, uh, to Hyde Park and Constitution Hill. Like I said, we've got two runs to do as well. Uh, so we do need to get a move on because time is going to be getting on. We are behind another driver. He drives for Indy Pack. He got to the collection point this morning before me. Um, but I don't want to be rude. He is a little bit slow. I don't mean that in a nasty way. He just is a bit slow. He's got a curtain slider, uh, so it takes longer to undo the curtains, you know, take straps off, stuff like that. Whereas I'm a flatbed, straps off, bang, done, gone. Do you know what I mean? Load it, bang it, on, straps over, done. Um, so I'm a, it's a little bit quicker for me, but annoyingly I'm behind the curtain slider. So that's another reason why I stop for fuel, just to try and give me a bit more distance. Um, so hopefully he can get in and out, and then I can arrive and do my bit. Do you know what I mean? Does that makes sense? So yeah. Um, but <laughs> you never know we may overtake him at some point he may need to stop for a break and we may be able to carry on who knows but I don't know 
what the situation is. As long as he doesn't hold me up when he has a break, that's, that's all that matters. But he did ask me earlier which way I'm going, the A40 or the A, A40 or the A4, and you can go sort of either way, in or out. It does really depend on traffic. I think I'm going to go in the A40 and come out the A4 because, like I said, we go into Hyde Park, so we approach from a different way, and then when we come out of uh, Constitution Hill, which is where Buckingham Palace is, um, yeah, go go out a different way. Anyway, I'm rambling on, I'm rambling on. We're going to crack on to London now. Hopefully we don't kill any cyclists. I nearly killed one yesterday. Um, if I remember, I will talk to you about that later on. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, here we are in Holland Park Avenue. This is like the way into Hyde Park that we take. Um, it can get a little bit busy, but lots of stopping at traffic lights <laughs> and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure they've closed the lane off here on the left. But is this traffic all going right? I think it is. Ah! No, the road, they, they've opened the lane back up. That's cool. Uh, we are taking up two lanes because it's quite narrow down here for, uh, for a truck and a car side by side. So we are taking up two lanes, because I can. If you don't like it, bite me. <laughs> There's a car behind me trying to, trying to sneak over, but unless it goes on the curb, we won't be making it. So yeah, um, hopefully we can get this off nice and quick. It's only three lifts, six straps need to come off, and that is it, three lifts, and then we'll be straight out of here. We won't be coming back this way, we'll be going back via Hammersmith on the A4. Um, but it's also busy down there as well hoping that we can get let straight in that's the plan if we can get let straight in that'd be ideal if we've got to wait at Hyde Park that will not be ideal Taxi driver's just decided to stop right in front of me. Nice, mate. Are you actually going in any closer or what? You just stop right there. Nice. <laughs> don't change, don't change, don't change. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, definitely don't want to be killing anyone down here. Yeah, so as... Oh, sorry. As I mentioned um, earlier, I nearly killed a cyclist yesterday. Oh, cyclists, I love them. Right, you'll, you'll see later, getting down to North Carriage Drive, it was yesterday anyway, they closed the left lane off uh, on the roundabout, so I'm in the second lane, um, which is good, because actually you need to be in that lane anyway, I'll flash that car, to make the left-hand turn. So I'm in the, here I am, in the second lane, ready to make the left-hand turn, indicating left, doing all my checks, lovely jubbly. I'm looking in the right mirror, because there's a, uh, a taxi getting very close to me. Look in the right mirror, look left, look in the right mirror, look left, start turning left, and then bang, all of a sudden there's a cyclist right there. Literally missed him by like that much. And the worst thing is, the worst thing is, I don't think he even realised, he or she, I didn't, I didn't look, I don't think they realised just how close they were to being knocked off their bike. I'm indicating the truck is saying, caution, vehicle turning left. But no, it just goes down the left-hand side of you still. I'm checking this mirror. I can't check everywhere at the same time. And I nearly knocked off a cyclist, which sounds really rude. <laughs> um... I suppose the main thing is I didn't knock off a cyclist, so I suppose that's good. Now this is the other dodgy thing, there's, there's pedestrians walking alongside these roadworks here, it pinches at the end where that green light is, it pinches, and I nearly hit someone yesterday as well because they decided to walk down the inside of me. Went to go, checked my mirrors and he's halfway down the trailer, I had to stop. It's a bit dodgy. That's, it's not a pedestrian path, but they're using it. Look, look how it pinches here. It's not a path. I guess people just want to die, don't they, I guess? 
Right, we've just nipped off this road now. Basically, we've got to do a right-hand turn, but uh, it's a no right-hand turn turn, if that makes sense. So we've got a nip up here, uh, turn right uh, at the end of this road, and then we approach Victoria Gate from directly on. Uh, so we'd have to make that right-hand turn, basically. Yesterday, it was queuing up all the way up to this zebra crossing. Yep, it's looking like it's doing the same now as well. Bike coming down the inside of me. So we can't really block the zebra crossing, but we also do need to make progress. So there is a green light. So we are going to move. There's no pedestrians. He's gonna go, they're gonna stop, thank you. And then we need to take up two lanes for this bit because it pinches again. Oh, pedestrian crossing there, thank you very much. So yeah, you'll see it there, it says Hyde Park. Lorries in a circle, buses in a circle. Even though there's no diagonal cross, that means no lorries, no buses. No trade or business vehicles unless authorised. We are authorised. Um, we are delivering to the king for his coronation. Yesterday I got approval here. King Charles III, coronation, 6th of May. Con A. But we probably need a new pass because that's got yesterday's date on. But we'll leave it there anyway. Get a new pass. We will be at these lights for a while. They'll change green and we'll probably get down to where next to go. But we won't actually cross. Uh, this time around because they change way too quickly but I don't know if you can see but up ahead there is a road glow sign with a no left hand turn but we do need to make the left hand turn which is why we're taking up two lanes here because we need to be on the right hand side of the road to make the left turn much to the vehicle's uh, annoyance behind me I'm sure they'll probably overtake if they get the opportunity and cut in front looks like we'll um, move again and we'll probably stop again at the lights after this one as well So I think they're going to change again. Yeah, see, they, they don't stay green for long, but we're next to go. You'll see both lanes are going directly in front. It pinches. That's why I'm taking up both lanes now to um, basically avoid hitting a car, scraping a car. Yesterday, oh, I nearly killed another cyclist yesterday, actually. Turning left down here where it says no left turn, but it is okay for us. There's also a cycle lane on the left-hand side of the road with an arrow facing upwards, but one come from the opposite direction and come towards me. Uh, and I had to slam on my brakes, otherwise I would have hit him. So that was also nice. But cyclists never break any rules. There's one here, look, red light. Are you going to go? Are you going to go? Good cyclist. See? They're not bad. Someone said to me that uh, I'm just highlighting negativity about cyclists and I'm not helping the cause. But here we go. There's a good cyclist right in front of us. Cy some cyclists are good. I'm not saying all cyclists are bad. Some, some lorry drivers are bad. Some car drivers are bad. Hey, look up ahead. Cyclists coming the wrong way on the road. That's it. It's good and bad of, of every type of road user. Come on, mate. Get pedalling. Get pedalling. Clear on the left. Um, and it's also weird because last time you would stop here and you would talk to someone and also you would talk to someone at Constitution Hill as well. But there's no security, they're just literally just traffic wardens, that's all it is. So technically I've not entered a secure area yet, as far as I'm concerned. Ah, uh, okay. The guy in front of us is still here. That is not good. That is not what I wanted either. Ugh. I 
think I'll be waved down to the left. Hello. Just the one run today, then, is it? Well, it's supposed to be doing two, isn't it? Yeah, but like, <laughs> how late do you want to work? Uh. <laughs> so, what time? Half 12? Yeah, well, if we're lucky, yeah. It'll be half 12, one o'clock. Then you got Indy Pack. Yeah. Yeah, so I might not get back to Swindon until like four ish. <laughs> Right, it's um, it's now one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> We're still waiting to be uh, to be let in. We've got the guys right next to us, PTL, and the other driver's still in front of us as well. So he's going to go down first before we are. But um, yeah, it's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon now, and uh, still not in because of the road closures that's happening. I'm, all I know is that there's been a road closure in place at Constitution Hill, something to do potentially with the change of guard, but also. To do with the king uh charles is moving around or something i don't know so they've shut the roads off uh locally so we're kind of stuck here <laughs> until we can get this off so it does now very much beg the question what's happening later uh because it's going to be a good two hours back two and a half hours back um so we're not going to get back to swindon until the very earliest four o'clock very earliest um, by the time we load and come back, it's going to be like 7 o'clock at night. I can't see them tipping that late. I don't know, they might, I don't know. So, one of three things is going to happen. One is we do something entirely different. Two is we go back, get loaded and stay in the yard. Three is we go back, get loaded and come back here. But I don't know yet which one that is, which one it is we're doing. So yeah, we'll just sit tight and wait. Hopefully we'll be going in soon. Okay, we are on the move towards Constitution Hill. Apparently it's been opened up now. One day I'm going to go into that dealership. We're on Park Lane. Think of um, Monopoly, Park Lane, Aston Martin. I would love an Aston Martin. Don't know why. Would just love... Not a Lamborghini. I, don't get me wrong, I'd quite like a Ferrari. Um, but Aston Martin, I think it would be what I want the most. You've just driven down a bus lane. That's why you're saying thank you to me, because I've let you in. Uh, so, me and the other driver in front are going in. Um, I'm not actually sure where we're tipping on site, to be fair. I don't actually know. Uh, what I do know, my boss hasn't told me this yet, but the second run that I was supposed to do, Richard has gone to pick up. Um, but my boss hasn't told me this yet. So I do need to make a phone call when we tip, just to double check to see what we're doing next, because we might not even be going back to Swindon. Could be going to Tilbury Docks, for example, and get it loaded. So I do need to make a phone call once we are tipped. Don't stop in the yellow patched areas. That we do not want to do. Um, so yeah, I've got a pass again. Wristband. <laughs> to say uh, that I've been, uh, well, signed in, I guess. I've, I haven't been vetted or anything like that. They haven't asked for any ID. That was another thing. Last time, we had to provide ID and everything. I haven't had to provide any ID. It's been very tame in terms of security, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, a bit weird. I do, uh, I do like to take up a little bit of extra room on this roundabout because the trailer swings in as he's about to find out there, look, that taxi driver. So that's why I like to take up two lanes here so I can leave that lane completely free. That taxi is smoking. Uh, you still get cars that come around you, but they'll be all right. I just try and leave plenty of room for the taxi on my near side so my trailer don't swing into them and get caught by that taxi driver. 
Okay, now we're going to take up these two lanes. Just keep an eye on the taxis. You right, mate? I'm fan. Cheers, mate. Yeah, man. <laughs> Appreciate it, bud. I can see that big head. I knew it was you, man. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Um, yeah, shout out to the driver. We're going to come down here. We're just being mindful of pedestrians. Because these lights will change. Come on, in the pack, keep going before these lights change. Come on. Go, 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 go. Nah, he's gone. There we go. And it was here we nearly killed a pedestrian, um, a cyclist. He decided to come down the left hand side of me just as I was turning left. The bus driver. <laughs> he's a, a, tour a tourist bus driver by the looks of it. Right. Um, PTL, we're waiting here just now. I just saw him. I think they're escorting. Indy back, so we're just following this blue lorry for now. There might be, because this road is kind of open, whereas before it's fully shut off. There were cones down here and everything, police patrols, the lot. It was, it was, it was shut. There was no public walking down, and now it's like completely open almost. So I don't know. I, as far as I'm aware, I'm allowed to film because this is public right now. Um, kids that are doing some wheelies. Nice wheelie. That could have sounded really different. Wow. That's not being put in. Um, so, are we turning left here? I think we are. Are, we, are they going to get us both in? No, we're not going left. Okay, I thought we were going left. So normally we go now, but we're going straight on this time. Okay, down, okay. So yeah, it's still open as far as I'm concerned. So Buckingham Palace is here on the right. Lots of pedestrians and that. So uh, any of these pedestrians can take photos and videos right now. They wouldn't be told that they couldn't do it. So as long as there's pedestrians, I'm filming. I think we're going to be going left into here, down here. They just need to give us some notice so we can get the right turning angle. No, we're going straight on. Yeah, we just got a red light now, so we've got to stop. We've got to try not to lose them ahead. Red light, mate. Cyclist just went for a red light. Come on, come on, come on, turn green. Come on, pedestrians, get across in. Yeah, this place is fully, fully open. So I'm filming. It's fully open, man. Anyone. There's people taking photos right now. This is a red light. But I'm part of the convoy. Beacons are on. They're stopping the, the pedestrians for us, so I'd better try and keep with them. Just telling me to put Ivers on. Put, just telling me to put Ivers on. There's like... Hundreds of people here not wearing hivers. Right, we're moving. Where are we going? Look at all these pedestrians. You 
probably want to walk on the path, not the road. I am not really sure. There's pedestrians all over the place taking photos and videos. I don't care, I'm filming. Right, I'm jumping out the truck. See what, what's happening, see you in a bit. Right, so yeah, we're just in the mall now. There's my truck over there. Nice long now. Don't know what this guy's doing. But yeah, I've stood, uh, stepped outside the truck because uh, I don't want to stay sat inside. It's just there, look. Parked up. Lovely jubbly. Okay, we're still waiting to be uh, to be tipped. Um, yeah, we've just kind of been left here for a sec, I think. Where are some lorries going? Oh, attached, attached to the truck. Tanker lorry coming down now. Uh, but yeah, man. Just waiting, waiting to be tipped. We've got lots of people uh, taking photographs of themselves. Uh, Mind you, I'm doing them because I'm doing the same thing, I suppose, aren't I? It's just kind of concerning, like, how many people just strolling past. Just strolling past. <laughs> right, unloading will soon start commencing. We're going to be unloaded after uh, the Indy Pack driver. Uh, they may be put behind me, I'm not sure. So I might need to move forward once uh, he's done. Right, Indy Pack has been tipped. We are now just gonna move ever so slightly forwards. They're tipping us from where we are basically and then tipping it right in front of us or placing it back down where we are rather. So let's go get this tipped. That's one off, two more to go. Okay. All right, mate, thanks for that. Right, we've got to spin round because we're going out the other way. Make sure we don't get any, hit any pedestrians. We do not want to do that. Uh, we don't want to take any of these flagpoles out either. Lovely jubbly. It's got a lot quieter than what it was when um, we first arrived. There's hardly anyone here now. I wanted to honk my horn at people. I honk at these guys. It's the best way around here then.
Looks very snug. You're going to put cones that's too tight, then I'm going to run them over. Because we are going this way. So yeah, Buckingham Palace there on the left, as you can probably see. Green light. Lovely. So yeah, we're, uh, we're done for the day. We are not going back for a second run. Obviously, it's too late. Far too late for that. Um, and we are doing something completely different tomorrow now. Uh, so we've got a, for me personally now, I've got to head back to Tetbury. We're going to stay in Tetbury overnight. Um, so I'm there first thing, ready for the morning. Do a local delivery, I think. Is it on Ashley? I'm not even sure if it's local delivery. Then I've got to go to Basingstoke and get some more toilets. They're like posher toilets. And that's going to Badminton, which is, is local because it's only Junction 18. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So we just got to get out of London and uh, park up at Tetbury and then that'll be us done and, and this video done as well. Okay, we are in Tetbury. Just about to uh, finish up for the day as well. The time is almost 20 past six. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I can't even remember what time I left London. Um, must have been about half three, something like that. I don't know. Uh, I have stopped a couple of times though, admittedly, on the way. Stopped at Hessen Services. Uh, not gonna lie, got myself a Burger King. I found did something hot food, some hot food. So we stopped at Burger King, um, got some food for tomorrow. And then I realized I got no mouthwash or toothpaste. So I stopped to get mouthwash and toothpaste. Um, what else, and some wet wipes. Did I get deodorant? Yeah, I got some deodorant as well. Um, just so I got plenty of stuff to uh, keep me fresh. So yeah, we are approaching now to Tetbury. There are three walking floors in there already. I think it looks like I'm going to be the first one to be loaded in the morning, but there's three walking floors already in here. So I am not at the front. Ugh. Yeah, they're, oh, hang on. Is that one? Yeah, there's one curtain cider. So I'm second in line to be loaded tomorrow. Not quite the first, but never mind. We will go and grab our paperwork as well so it's done. Um, so I, was, I will go and get that first before I end the video. Go grab the paperwork. No more room for lorries to get past, but there's enough room for cars. That'll do the job nicely. Uh, it's a bit wet out, that's all. Do I really want to go and walk and get it? I do. I could do it going for a little walk. Yeah, I should go for a little walk and grab it. So I'll see you outside. Right, we have gone and got our paperwork. We're going to the National Trust. Uh, it is Morden Garden Centre. I will double check which one. I'm pretty sure there's two in Morden. So I'll double check. It's a bit of everything as well. I'll double check in a bit. I need to have, like, not. I need to wash my hands because they're really dirty. So that's what I'm going to do now. Anyway, uh, wash my hands so they're nice and clean. I use this stuff, gets all the grease off. And then, uh, we got like water on tap. I've got loads of other water in the uh, passenger footwell as well of the truck. So we've got plenty of water. It's fresh. Fresh water. It's a bit wet and miserable out for the moment. <laughs> okay, so now I've washed my hands, put that back in the side locker. We we'll jump in the truck, uh, take off this waterproof coat and uh, get ready to chill out for the rest of the evening. Actually, I might go to bed. I'm just really quite tired, you know. 
Okay, I actually forgot to end the video last night. It is now the next morning. Uh, we're just in queue now to go onto the Weybridge, basically, uh, so we can get our, well, I say get our paperwork, we've already got our paperwork. Get loaded and then we can crack on with today because today's Friday. But that is the end of today's video. So I do want to thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, it, might be, it might be a short video, I'm not sure, because it's just the one run into London we did. But I hope nonetheless that you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.